Okay, friends. Well, this is the finished product. I did tilt it a little bit more after I um, stopped filming, and I think I'm happy with the composition. I'm not sure which orientation, but um, for, for now I'm going with this one. I think I went a little too heavy on the milk paint. Next time I'm going to cut that amount. But um, overall, with all clearance paints, I think it was pretty good. I'm going to go get some more. The colors are quite vivid, and um, price was right. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to it. Hello, my friends, and happy Memorial Day to you. I had the most wonderful day yesterday. My Michaels opened up. I was so excited about that. I walked in and I was greeted with a big stack of clearance items, including these paints on sale. Art Mines, they're outdoor paints. thought I'd give them a try. It was only $1.97 for this 8-ounce jar. comes in wonderful colors. So if I like this, I'm going to run back over there today and get some more. This is Marina, this wonderful deep royal blue wine and then this is kind of an odd color soft sage so those are the three outdoor paints i'm going to try i also bought some milk paint on clearance and added that to some pearl what is this classic pearl the brushed metallics that was not on sale but i don't know that they sell this anymore if i had it for a while um and then just gold regular artist loft flow acrylic. Got to have some gold in this thing. So we'll see what we come up with. I've mixed them all with flow troll. I'll put the ratios down below in the description if, if this works. <laughs> but I, I did want to show you these wonderful little uh, silicone cups I bought on eBay. They're about, they're 100 mil, which is just about around three ounces. And they have the measurements on there and a nice pouring spout. And the beauty of these is that you can leave your paints, the leftovers to dry and they just peel right out. Looks good as new, apparently. So I'm hoping that's the case. I bought about a dozen and since I never do more than about five colors at a time, while those are drying, I can continue with others. Of course, I have large cups for um, pouring, but I'm not using nearly as many this way. Uh, and I have a lot of plastic to use up. So I'm hoping this is a good thing. Be a savings in the long run. They weren't very expensive. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, yeah, I've, I've put them in the order I want. I don't want this sage near the wine, so I've put a barrier of gold and the, and the white on either side. Um, One other thing I'll show you. This is a very inexpensive, it's just one of their value pack canvases. And this particular one was really bad. The corners were all very dimpled. You can see that still. Uh, I left that one to show you. The others were as bad, if not worse. And I sprayed it with water and then hit it with the hair dryer, and it tightens up. It's still not perfect. This one was particularly bad. That's a good thing to do, get a little firmer surface. So, um, the other thought I had, these cheap canvases, they're, they're, they don't have a lot of gesso coats on them. They're not as nice as, of course, the better canvases, the twos and threes, or even the ones are better. So, I was thinking that maybe it's so textured that it might even catch up the, the paint and give those weird ripples that uh, we don't like, or I don't like. So I'm gonna pour a little flow trawl, a little puddle of flow trawl on, I don't know if that's a good idea, bad idea. Maybe I'll spread it around. That's my chair. Okay, I, mean, I am, I'm gonna spread that around a little bit. I'm too lazy to gesso, uh, and I don't think it's worth it on these inexpensive canvases. So I'll just do that. I don't think that's going to interfere with the, um, the look. I didn't even need that much. Okay, that's good. 
So a lot of experimenting today. All right. Now, uh, oh, I can't put the cup down. <laughs> I will anyway. Who cares? Here we go. I'm just going to be doing a, a straight pour, pretty much. I may reserve some of this um, white to make a little puddle in the middle. This milk paint, I think, really makes a cloud effect very easily. Next time I might try putting some of it in the colors as well, but uh, oh, there's so many, so much you could do in the way of experimenting, but you just want to get to the pouring, right? This is a 14 by 14, and this is a, what, 18 ounce cup. I'll probably fill up, oh, maybe... 10, 10 or 11 ounces in there. I'll, I will actually fill it up and then I'll weigh it because I have a scale. I, I use a scale when I mix my paints and there's no guesswork involved. I do guess a lot though about how much coverage. I know there's charts, but they vary so much and I think you need more. I What I generally base it on is um, I multiply the length times the width and times 0.1. So, for example, a 10 by 10 is a would be 100 times 0.1. You need 10 ounces of paint. This is a 14 by 14, so actually I need a lot more than 10 ounces. But, uh, eh, I may be way off on my calculations. This is very rough. I'm probably off on my 10 ounce estimation for this. This is going to be a lot more than 10 ounces. This is not the prettiest gold, but it's what I had a big jar of, big bottle of, so that's what I went with. Kind of a green gold. I don't love it. Maybe they'll have some in, in that outdoor paint that I can get. Pour all that wonderful blue. I'm not going to go, I'm going to reserve the white because most of, a lot of this will end up poured off because, of course, what you put in the cup last ends out of the edges and then when you tilt, goodbye. Okay, let's, let me weigh that and see what, oh, now I'm going to get goop on my scale. Well, that's about 11 ounces. <laughs> Just what I guesstimated. I think that's enough for this. So let's give it a go. I made a lot of paint, well, far more than I needed, so I hope I like this color combination. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to pour from, uh, isn't that pretty in there? I'm going to pour, I'm going to pour, I'm going to pour this way. I'm about three inches from the canvas. That wine um, blended with the blue and made a lovely purple. I 
I'm just doing, I'm going to do a straight pour the whole way. Nothing could be easier. Of course, I'm talking and I'm moving my arm. <laughs> and laughing and I'm moving my arm. I can see lots of wonderful things happening already. <laughs> my dog is at my feet as usual, snoring away. Oh, that's pretty in the center. The wine has come through. It hasn't mixed with anything. It's just wonderful, pure color. Okay, and lift off. Okay, see what the um, milk paint has done. It's already starting to give that puffy cloud effect. I'm assuming this is from the flow trawl I put down, giving me a weird, you know, not perfectly round, but that's okay. Woohoo! Okay, let's see. Don't know where to begin. But got to start somewhere. Here we go. Wow. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out the best way to light what I'm doing. <laughs> it's daytime. Maybe I don't need a light at all, but you see the reflection of the window. Oh, man, that's pretty. <laughs> I think I'm going to be heading back to Michael's. I'm going to grab every color they have. How fun. I don't think the flow trawl is, um, you know, really necessary or Great idea. Still got some of those jaggedy kind of lines that I don't love, but uh, it's okay. That wine kind of took over. I'm going to set it down for a second. I love this effect here. Getting a lot of fun things here. Hmm. Okay, carry on. I'm gonna cover this corner and then come down here and then maybe stretch that part out a little more.
<laughs> Gosh, this is fun. I love the movement here where it's going like like that and then smaller and then it gets larger and larger. Okay, I'm going to turn this. Maybe you can see it better this way. The only thing I think is that this outdoor paint is going to dry a little faster, perhaps start setting up. It's just a guess, but uh, oh my goodness, that's fun. Um, down here a little bit. thinking it's going to continue to develop those cloud looking things as it as it settles wow as you know I love to embellish pores but um, something like this won't need it <laughs> Wow, maybe I went a little heavy on the milk paint. What do you think? There are some very, very fun, interesting areas happening. Turn it. I'm not sure which orientation I like best. But isn't that something I didn't have any purple that uh, wine and the marina combined to make this beautiful grape color. Gosh, I, I don't know which way to go. I, I should probably stop. <laughs> I just don't want the the uh, center right in the center. It isn't quite. It's a little off. I, I, I think I'll stop. And just touch up the edges with my finger. There we go. I need to take the phone down and show you a little bit closer. So let me remove my gloves. Right with it. Okay. Look at all that fun effect. A little odd color uh, choices, but overall, I think it's pretty fun. I'm going to tilt it some more. I'm going to stop the uh, video, but I, I think I need to tilt a little bit more to um, get that center out of the center. It needs to be offset a bit more. So there we go. Well, I'll certainly be experimenting some more with um, milk paint and some more of this outdoor paint from by Art Minds. It's on clearance at Michael's. Thanks for joining me, folks. See you next time. Bye-bye.